Hi, welcome back to PSL Living. I'm Jenny Newell. The fifth annual Treasure Coast Seafood Festival is coming up in April, and event specialist Natalie Neal is here to tell us more about sponsorship opportunities, vendor opportunities. Yes. Okay. We are very excited. It's right around the corner. It is our fifth annual, as you stated. We have a lot of sponsors that have joined us already, so I would like to thank those first. That's great. Fresh from Florida. Teleperformance and Prima Vista Animal Hospital have joined us this year. Oh, that's great. Yes, we're very excited about that, but there are still opportunities available okay. for both sponsors and art and craft vendors, and a couple of food slots are still available as well. Okay, first, so it'll be at the Civic Center outside in Village Square. Yes. And that's Saturday, April 11th. What are the from times? From noon until 8. Okay. It is free admission and free parking. Always a family-friendly environment. We will have a large kid zone and children's activities for everybody to have some fun. Okay, that's great. Um, let's talk about first the vendor and sponsor opportunities. There's packets available on the website? Yes, on our city's website. They can download all the information there, and my number is there as well. So if they have any further questions, they can feel free to contact me. Okay, and you can get to that packet a couple different ways. There's a listing that's been on the city's homepage for a while now, just to get the word out. And there's also a listing on the calendar as well, both the Civic Center calendar and the city calendar. So if you click on the event itself, you can download that information yes. there. Yes. Yes. Okay, great. Very good. All right, so I know you've got some new kind of things this year. We do. We are doing a Little Mermaid and Little Pirate dress up contest. I love so it. we think that would be fun for the, the families oh, and absolutely. the children. Um, it is ages two until eight. Okay. And they can register the day of. We will have it at our information booth. And it's just something uh, different and fun to do. Absolutely. Good photo opportunities oh, for the family. Absolutely, absolutely. And this is the fifth annual. It just seems to grow and get bigger and bigger. It does. Uh, people love it. We are, you know, in Florida, they love our seafood. We also have some food that is not seafood related for okay. those that aren't. Uh, into the seafood so much, gotcha. but it grows every year and uh, we love it. How many people would you say come? I'd say throughout the day between eight and 10,000 people visit us. That's a lot of exposure. If you're a vendor or a sponsor, you want to get your name out there. It's oh, a lot of eyes absolutely. on you. Yes, yes it is. Everybody seems to enjoy it and God willing, it'll be a great, beautiful day. Absolutely. So people can come out and visit our vendors and sponsors and just have some fun. About how many booths would you say are out there typically? I'd say probably about um, just regular art and craft vendors, about 30 to 50. Oh my. And then food vendors will might most likely have about 20. Okay. And that's still growing. That's great. And there's a lot of seating out there as well. Absolutely. Yes. There, you, if you want to bring your own chairs and blankets, you can. But we have plenty of tables and seats for you to sit. We'll also have um, tents so you can get out of the that's elements great. for a little while if you need some shade. Okay. That's great. That's great. And you have some live entertainment? We do. We're going to kick off this year with um, Guy Tan. He's the voice of New York. He will start us off as he did last year. Oh, great. And he has has a good following. He's a great singer. And then we'll go into the Warren Silvers Band, which is an awesome country band that will be there. Then we have the Big Coke Band, um, and then we have an oyster eating contest, and oh. we will end off the night with the band <laughs> called Cerveza. Oh, nice. Yes. Okay, so it's a lot of, it's really for everybody, a wide array of music and Oh, yes, yes, we like to keep it that way. And again, it is, it's free admission, free admission, free parking. And all okay. you're doing is buying your uh, food and libations. And if people want to participate in that oyster eating contest? They can also sign up the day of. Okay. We will only have six slots available. <sighs> so for those uh, <laughs> oyster lovers, yes, they okay. filled up rather quickly last year. Okay, fantastic. <laughs> do you remember the winner, how many? they ate last year? I honestly do not. I try not to witness it too much. Uh, yeah, I, I'm a big seafood fan, but something about the oyster and I just I kind of draw the line at the oyster, but they sign up quick, and I really wish I remembered it. We have some great photos of him last year, and okay. if we had more for him to eat, he probably would have. Oh, my. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. We'll make sure to have those pictures on display this year. Okay. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I will get all that information from you. We'll make sure that we have the web posting and calendar listings and everything up updated with all of those um, live uh, performances and, and also the costume contest as well. Yes. All right, so one more time, if anybody wants information about becoming a vendor or a sponsor of this event, they can just call you? Absolutely, at 
807-4489 or log on to the website as you has mentioned. Okay, okay, great. And give us the date and day and time one more time. Saturday, April 11th from noon until 8 okay. at the Civic Center. Okay. Rain this, or shine. Rain or shine and this is the fifth annual and I'm sure like the event itself it grows and grows every year so I'm oh, sure more people will come out this year. Yes, yes. Everybody is uh, excited and eager for the event to be here so we're excited about it. Absolutely. All right, so the fifth annual Treasure Coast Seafood Festival on Saturday, April 11th, 11th yes. from 12 till 8. Till 8. Okay, fantastic. Well, we'll make sure we get all of that information updated on the website as awesome. well. Awesome. Thank you, Jenny. Thank you, Natalie Neal, Event Specialist with the Civic Center and the Parks and Recreation Department. We appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me. And we'll be right back after these messages.